We're on chapter 7, and that is about water infrastructure, and I call it dams, pipes, and pumps. And in this section, it's, a, it's in the social water uh, part of the book because uh, most water infrastructure has a very heavy um, uh, political process to create it. There could be um, a big governmental involvement to fund it. And in this chapter, I discuss uh, subsidies to water infrastructure, uh, as well as um, uh, those are direct subsidies, as well as uh, indirect subsidies uh, that uh, are part of the benefit of receiving, for example, free water. So I talk about different types of subsidies, and um, a very uh, uh, important part of what's called other people's money. So a lot of infrastructure is funded with what's called other people's money. That's when uh, taxpayers are uh, in, in, the, in the U.S. or in anywhere in the world, China, India, uh, Britain, it doesn't matter. Well, Britain is, does matter because they have private water utilities. So France, those taxpayers actually uh, pay into the central fund. The government takes out that money and puts it in a local project that benefits a local region and creates a, an obvious subsidy to those people in that region. Um, and, and that kind of, uh, it, that can be very inefficient in the sense that uh, somebody says, do you want this car for $10,000? You might say no. Do you want it for $2,000 and somebody else will pay $8,000? They say yes. So that's where subsidies come in. Now, um, we've got a little time left. The main thing I want to ask this time around is, uh, do you foresee that uh, somebody will come to you and say, uh, we want you to consult with us for the next year or two and we want to bring our water district onto your guidelines? Is that likely a likely thing to happen? Or I mean, will that, you get an upsurge from people reading your book right. and saying, hey, listen, you guys, this guy knows what he's talking about? Well, I'd love that. I mean, I, I hope that, I mean, I've been talking to thousands of people over a few years, wow. you know, the last four or five years, because of the blog and public public talks and writing essays for the for various, uh, uh, you know, the Forbes magazine and stuff. So I have been working on these ideas to make them usable to lots of people, but the reason I'm writing the book is because they don't need me to go and implement them, right? They can read the book, oh. or they can, just sit and, they can just sit in the corner and think about it, but the whole point of the book is that it gives them a, a shortcut to these ideas. Very good. And I've thought about them, and I've tried to wrestle with the trade-offs, and, you know, if any district wants to do it, they, 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 can, uh, they can sit in the corner and think about it, they can read the blog, they can talk about each other, they can read the book, and they, of course they can hire me as a consultant, but this is not a consulting advertisement. This is a, an advertisement for economic ideas and using those ideas in areas where they have not been used before.